Hello beautiful souls, my name is Shartina and this reading is going to be for all fire signs. Now really quick, let me just say, I was initially doing this reading for myself, but I felt compelled to put this online for all fire signs. Um, I myself am a Leo. Um, this is a general reading for all fire signs, so please only take what resonates with you. Um, and let's just go ahead and dive right in. I found this reading to be pretty interesting. Now, the overall energies for this reading, you have in the near future and you're ready. All right, so I see a lot of changes that could be happening for a lot of you in the very near future. If it's something that you've been feeling... <sighs> worried about as far as something that you wanted to do or something that you wanted to accomplish you're finally ready and i can definitely resonate with that message now there's quite a few things that i see going on here for one i see someone making you an offer probably an ex but you don't really want this offer you're not quite sure about exactly what it is that this person may be offering and then they're showing up as the king of cups in reverse so it looks like some of you put an end to this situation really early on and some of you are still confused about it you may feel pretty tempted to go ahead and rekindle this connection or whatever it is it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be a friend it could be um let's see here it's not really looking like this is a job. It's looking more like you need a change. It's, you're ready for what it is that you want in your life to actually come forth. You're so, I see someone who is so frustrated that now any obstacles that you faced in the past are no longer obstacles. You're jumping over those. Somebody wants to communicate with you, but like I said, some of you put an end to that connection. It looks like someone was making a false offer, like they needed something for you. They do have feelings for you, but it seems like they might be very confused about these feelings. It, to me, it just feels more like an infatuation. Okay, so some of you have someone that's pretty infatuated with you. This could have been going on for quite some time. Um, you could have been going back and forth, on again, off again. This could even be a twin flame energy because this whole reading reminds me of like a twin flame energy. There's usually a chaser and a runner. And right now, it seems like you're done with this connection for good, all right? We've got the death card here. We've got the chariot in reverse the seven of cups, all that glitters is not gold, all right? So this may have come across pretty appealing to you at first. You could have really believed that this person changed and they may have, but they might not have changed enough. I see someone who hasn't changed enough. You know, this is somebody who Maybe for a while you were waiting for them to get their act together. You really did want this connection, but it's just dead now. I see you putting an end to it. You're looking forward to the future that you are building with the three of wands. You're just ready. You're ready to go new places in your life. You're ready for a whole new life. And a whole new life is coming to you. Okay, you've been through a lot. Someone's been through a lot, but now you're shining. You've got the star card. You've got really big dreams and really big goals, and this time, nobody's going to stop you. I feel like you've cleared your life for everything that was standing in your way, everything or everyone that was standing in your way. Okay, this card here says, I can forgive people quickly release my resentment, and set myself free. So I feel like you have removed 
all negative energies, everything that, that was weighing you down. There may have been a lot of energy vampires around you. There may have been a lot of people who pretended to be your friend, maybe even for a long time. Pretended to be your friend, pretended to be in your corner, but overall, it was a toxic relationship. It could, it could have been anything. It could have been a job. It could be friendships. It could be family members that you have distanced yourself from. It could be past relationships. It could be, it could be anything or anyone. You know, it could be a divorce, but this is something that is really good for you. Right here, you have healthy choices. It says making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. I see an overall happiness coming to you. You're, you're going for your happiness and you're going to take it by any means necessary. You know, right here with this healthy choices card, making healthy choices in love and in life. I feel like this is self-love. Making healthy choices in self-love. It doesn't look like you're really interested in any type of romantic connections at this time. You've got your eye on the prize and you're going for the trophy. You're going for it. All right. You also have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So the frustrations that you were having, and it looks like you may have been going through something for so long. What this feels like to me is somebody that is so fed up that you're almost numb, but you don't want to be numb. You want more, and you're taking it. I see you have a good friend. You have some type of friend or somebody, associate, someone that it is that you can talk to about the things that's going on, even if this is a person that um, is online. You know, you can have a friend online, not necessarily romantically, it could be anybody, um, and you guys share information, you talk to one another, and you're, you're telling them what's going on, and they're giving you some pretty good, solid advice. The sunglasses card, this person that you cut off the connection with, or it could be multiple people. Yeah, this, this could be multiple people, for sure. That you cut the connection off with, people are watching you very, very closely. They don't understand what it is that they did wrong, or even if they do understand what it is that they did wrong, they didn't realize that it was so wrong. You could have had somebody gaslighting you. You could have had somebody that had narcissistic behaviors, um, energy vampires all over the place really is, is what I'm seeing here. And you're calling forth what it is that you want. You have the magician. Oh, my camera's a little blurry. I'll fix that for the next reading. Or either I'll just have to get a new one. I might have damaged it. But um, you're ready. You're ready for this. It says, I bring peace with me wherever I go. And that is what you're after. You're not just going after your happiness. You're not just going after your major goals. Your biggest goal that I see here is peace. You want to be stress-free. I feel like you just want to wake up in the morning, every morning, like you deserve, and not have to worry about anything unnecessary. Now, there's always, we're human. You know, there's going to be things in life that come our way. There's always going to be obstacles and new learning experiences. And that's what life is really all about, right? Learning. But the peace within that you seek, you're about to have it. You're forcing it. You're making it. You're taking it. You want peace inside and out. All right. You have the golden mirror. This person or these people, and this is why I say there's so many connections that you had in your life that were just toxic. You have the golden mirror. It says self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Now, this person could have come back to you trying to shower you with gifts, shower you with love. 
you know, make it seem like they're so into you right now and they really, really changed and you're the apple of their eye. They can't live or breathe without you. Just being all over you in a way, showing you so much attention, but they just need something from you. You have something that they need. You definitely have something that they need. It could be some type of skill, excuse me, skill for something that they need to do and want to do and maybe some goals that they're planning in, in their life. But what I see here is this person, if you did get back together with this person and you used your skills to say help start their business or something like that or whatever the case may be, this is the type of person that will leave you at the drop of a dime as soon as things start to go well for them and they're able to get on their own two feet and provide for themselves. And I'm not saying at the moment that this person can't provide for themselves or these people. It's just that they don't have all of the skills or tools necessary. It could be a place to stay. It could be they need to use your car. It could be... It could be anything really. It could be they want you to help them um, start a business or figure out the paperwork for an LLC or, or anything, really. It could be that they're going through some type of court case and need to fight something or some type of legal issues and you have that expertise. You know how there are certain people um, that you go to for certain things because you know they're really good at it? That's how this feels to me. So they're trying to sneak and snake their way back into your life. It could be, it could be anybody. They might have had you thinking for a minute, but I don't feel like you ever quite trusted this person 100% to just be all in again. This is somebody who wants you to just magically be madly in love with them, you know, all of a sudden all over again as if the past never even existed. Because it looks like a pretty painful past. It looks like this is somebody who stabbed you in the back more times than you can even count with the Ten of Swords. Okay, but now this is, you're over and done with it. And if you're still confused about the situation, um, I would say this person is not good. This person is not good. I know you're a fire size and sometimes we just like a little bit of entertainment if we've been bored or if we've been lonely for a while or whatever the case may be, but you've been through enough already and you've been through enough with this person. So this time, this time it would be even worse. But the good news is when you cut them off, it looks like they finally actually get the message this situation is done and over with the old you is done and over with and the reason why they probably gave up so quickly this time coming back around is because they do realize they do notice that you are a completely different person you're not the same person a while ago that was so easily manipulated you've grown You've grown a lot stronger from a lot of things. It's not just this past relationship um, that made you stronger. It's everything. It's everyone. It's all of these energy vampires. I see somebody who just is not letting anything get in their way. I see somebody who is just not for the drama anymore. You're not taking anybody's crap anymore. All right. While you're transitioning into the new you, 
there could be a few little minor delays around your money. All right. But that all changes. It's like you got to crawl before you walk. You've been through so much. I feel like I feel like some of you want this, you know, major success and transformation to happen overnight. But it's not going to happen overnight. And I do see that you are willing to wait. You're willing. You have nothing but patience at this point. You want it now, but you're patient enough and wise enough after everything you've been through to wait for it. You're manifesting a whole new life by clean sweep in the house. <laughs> you did a, a clean sweep of your life or, or you're about to do a clean sweep of your life or you're thinking about doing a clean sweep of your life. But some of these connections that you had in the past, because like I said, this doesn't have to all be about an ex person or an ex relationship or anything like that. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty about these previous connections that you've had. You may have, like I said, some of this could be family. You may have people that were like family or are family or been at you've been at this job for a long time and your work your co-workers feel like family but you know what that time has come and gone that chapter is over with and it's time for a brand new chapter of your life this is the turning point in your story this is the turning point point in your journey in your book you know this is the the moment of the movie if you will that would have people on the edge of their seat because they just didn't see it coming but you did you knew all along what you were capable of you really did and now you're going to get it by any means necessary. You're getting your peace by any means necessary. I see you standing up for yourself. I see you putting a lot of people in their place. Like finally putting people in their place. Finally standing up for yourself in ways that you needed to in the past, but you didn't want to hurt people's feelings. But now it's like, you know, hey, <laughs> truth hurts. Sorry, not sorry. You gotta go. Bye. <laughs> That's what I see. So good for you. Good for you. We've got three of Ariel down here. It says, do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. And over here, you also have the torch, the bull, and the dog barking. So the torch says spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. You understand and you know exactly what it is that you need to do and exactly how to do it. And if you don't know exactly how to do it, you're about to learn. You've got the bull. It says, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. See, that's what I'm saying. You're standing up to whoever needs to be dealt with. Whoever needs to be put in your place. I feel like anybody can get it right now. You are fire signs after all. You know, we wear our heart on our sleeves as fire signs, but at the end of the day, that only lasts so long, you know. We're the people that always shock everyone when we blow up or when we finally explode. This ticking time bomb that they've created that had a timer on it all along, people are shocked when you blow up. 
and it's so well deserved. You've got the dog barking. It says advice from a friend. And I see that here too with the girl talk card. Just keep in mind that there are people watching you very closely. And this card, if I'm going to be honest, it feels a little ominous to me. Somebody could be stalking you and you don't even know it. But it also says gaslighting, uh, perception, and focusing out. Stalking, looking, watching. Sunglasses. They're watching you. Me personally, like I said, this reading was originally supposed to be for me, but I feel like it's for you too. Some of you, hopefully all of you. Well, well, yeah, hopefully all of you, because this is a pretty good reading. Um, what was I about to say? It doesn't even matter. People could have been gaslighting you and doing all of these horrible things to you. As a matter of fact, not could have been, they were. Just keep an eye. Me personally, I remember now what I was going to say. <laughs> I am trying my best to move. I feel like I want to do such a clean sweep of my life that nobody knows where I live. Throw a dart at the map type of, of energy is what I'm feeling here. I bring peace with me wherever I go. The magician says, you've got Archangel Razio coming in for you here. It says you can manifest the life you want what you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. This is a whole new beginning. This is a, a fresh start. But you're ready for it. And it's happening now. In the very near future, all of your, your goals will be either up and running or complete. And you'll be well into the flow of your new life. Let's get you some closing advice. I did have closing advice for myself already with the um, Archangel Power Tarot cards, but I feel called to pull one more, one more card for advice. I did already shuffle these cards. Can you give me advice for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please, fire signs. Angels and spirit cards. Divine love and light. Divine guidance. Can't make that up. You're being highly, highly protected right now highly protected you have nothing to fear everything you need for this clean sweep and this brand new beginning it's going to be given to you it's going to be like doors just magically open and left and right and left and right and forwards and, and just in all types of directions i feel like you're going to have a whole lot of choices of what you want to do and ways that you can go it really doesn't even matter where you start or what door you walk through. It looks like whatever door you walk through, it, you, you're still the star. You're going to be the star. It's going to work out for you. So divine guidance, card number five. Five is the number of change. All right. This is a drastic change. What I, what I, let's see. You also have... Uh, the Seven of Cups, the Chariot card, which is seven, 
and the star card, which is 17. So I'm seeing a lot of a lot of sevens, seven, seven, seven over here. How lucky is that? All right, so your closing guidance, your, your closing um, messages, advice. It says the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. That's something that I forgot to mention. I do see... I do see here that you are getting a new set of friends. You might already have people in mind that you know are the types of people that you should be hanging out with. And they're there for you. And these will be healthy friendships because now you're making all of these healthy choices. Oh, I really, I'm really sorry about my camera. I have to just get another one. It got damaged in the move. And now I need to move again. But anyway, moving on. You've got this. You've got this. I would tell you not to let anybody stop you, but you're not gonna let anybody stop you. This reading is, is pretty straightforward. The people that have always been holding you back, they know not to play with you now. They know it's not gonna happen. So thank you, beautiful souls, for listening. Uh, I will put some information in the description box. It might take me 24 hours to put what I need to put down there because remember, I just did this reading for myself, but I really, truly feel like this reading was supposed to be public for you, for whoever finds it. This is not a timeless reading. This reading is good from now until August 26th. I can feel that this isn't a timeless reading. So August 26th. I'll put some things in the description box below. Um, if you would like to have a private reading with me or a personal reading from me which will come in the form of a link just go ahead and email me i'll put that information in the description box as well and i'm sorry i wasn't prepared um to do this i just felt called to, to do this reading for everyone to make it public for everyone but this was something that was very personal to me and that is the information that I got. Although when I did start speaking it to you, um, I did pick up on a few things extra that I didn't see for myself. And that's how I knew that this was not just a Leo reading. This was a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius reading. This was a fire signs reading. So good luck um, on your journey. I'm really, really proud of you for making the necessary changes that you need. I'm just sorry for the way that you had to get to that point of frustration and being fed up to have these changes basically forced in your life. You are always a good person, but people try to bring the ugliest parts of you out and now they're going to get it, but it's going to be short and probably not sweet, just truth straightforward true so all right everybody you have a wonderful day whenever this reading finds you within the next two weeks it is valid please only take what resonates with you and remember that this was a general reading for aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising and venus signs all right don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.